Hello everyone, Sigmanator here. Welcome back to Alan Wake. Again with the trees. Oh, you ass. I don't have a torch. Or any flares. I feel like it forced me to come this way, but I'm glad it did. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. All right. Are you done? Oh, you suck down there. Alright, oh, cool, you can stay down there. I need some lights. The shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. What is your problem, Nightingale? Hmm? I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Yeah, I just saw it. 
Just chill. We need to explore. We won't miss things. We've we've already missed a bunch of stuff. What's down here quickly first? Nothing. All right. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Yeah, but at least I've got a torch now. I can do some damage. <laughs> Come on! No! Can you stop? Alan! For fu- Why are you stuck on the anim- Alright, so I can't actually do the generator while the enemies are around because... He gets stuck in the animation of operating it. This is bullshit. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Heavy duty torch, even though, as far as I know, that doesn't do anything. No weapons or anything around here. No, it doesn't look like it. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry. I would see the damage soon. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Huh? The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free.
You were not there. Oh, come on. as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Taking a field of darkness. Yeah, got that. We'll just do a quick. Investigate around here. At least it gave me a way out. You a trap or a page? Trap. That's bullshit. Oh, fuck off. I... There is no way you are curving these axes to where I'm moving. I don't care how supernatural you are. See the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! Oh, oh, what are you? What are you? Ah! Fuck. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went farm again and, uh, for the moonshine you know it, it makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it 
They're in the loony bin. <laughs> but my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. Uh, it's not him. <laughs> like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. <laughs> the best friend's suddenly the bad guy. <laughs> who, who wrote this crap? Anyway, oh, that'll be me. Everyone's a critic. Oh, I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the dark presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. Okay then. Was that off? Was that old Danny boy? The front door was locked. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Oh, lovely. Bangs, yes. Anything else around here? No, okay. Thought there might be a page somewhere. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Hiding in here? Doesn't look like it. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Keep collecting them, even though I don't know what purpose they serve. Mm -hmm. 
You got anything hiding for me? Oh yeah, there's a stash here somewhere. Perfect. All right, we're good. Check up here. No, that's just a bit of the, of the ground texture. sure everyone's noticed that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning at the very least. Pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give them a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Thanks, Pat. Oh, I think we're good. Okay. That was not necessary, Alan. I think you're a bit of a drama queen, mate. Oh, good! doesn't really matter where you hit them. Some will go down easy, some won't. Oh, this is just taking me back round. Fair enough. I'm not really sure what I hit there. Really?
Das Haus. Good, back to full health. Hiding anything for me? No. Nope. About you. Yes. There's something in here. I didn't want to use a flare. Well, not the flare gun anyway. used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh, hello. Ow! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! God damn! <laughs> Of the dodge button if you're not going to dodge, Alan. Jesus so Christ. Alone. Yeah, pick, pick up the stuff. The fuck?
you fuck. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! Yeah, hold on. Okay, that was a bit tense. I probably should have saved the flashbangs for the end. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. <laughs> we need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got, before they ambushed me. Alright, let's get up there. around here oh what's that I think that might be a page yes as the deputies hauled wake and wheeler away agent nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers wake had been carrying it was incomplete a collection of random pages but there was enough he saw his own name in there among others his hands shook with emotion Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. Sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was 
pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Ow. They did. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Well, we'll carry on with uh, who knows more about rock and roll in the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick later. This is a bit out of the wake. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now. Oh, 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 oh,